Hey guys, I wanted to go over custom fixture profile creation with you to get you up and running with your own fixtures that may not be in the database. So here I'm going to create a new um, profile for the Astera tubes which have recently come out that incorporate the tint, which is kind of awesome. So Simon added these in Astera and what we can do is we can go to add fixtures and you'll see I actually already have them within Astera here. They're the... Um, Dim CCT Green Magenta Hue Sat, and they have a 16-bit for the dimmer as well as um, the RGB version of this, and here's the RGB version of this down here. Um, but if we were to create these from scratch, uh, you just click Create New up here in the top, and then you select a manufacturer. Right now, obviously, we go in Astera, but I'm just going to put this into Jeff's test for now. The fixture name would, of course, be the Titan or the Helios Tube. Um, which I'll just put a one in for now. The fixture mode would be this, dim CCT green magenta crossfade RGB, okay? Um, and then the fixture description, I would say, you know, is look at what I did here. So I did, you know, 8-bit uh, alternate film mode because this is, you know, one way to use it. This is like 16-bit film mode because this is kind of what I think is pretty standard for a film profile to use um, and you know, you know if there's no strobe that's something also to label and whatnot so anyways you can put your description in here um, we're gonna start without multi-cell but I can show you this when you do multi-cell um, so you leave this off you don't need to put a number of cells and your DMX footprint is now going to be seven as you can see there are seven channels in this first one that we are going to do so you type in seven here, you click save, and now it prompts you with what is your first channel? Well, your first channel is dimmer. That's easy. So you just click this button, select parameter. You search for dimmer, and bam, you just click dimmer, and everything's filled out. Now you click next. That's pretty much it. You just go through these, selecting the parameters, and if there is something you need to customize, then you could do that. So for example, if we scroll down here, you're gonna see in the next parameter when we search for color temperature and select it, the default right here shows the user min at 2800 and the user max at 6500. But uh, the actual range of the Titan tubes can go from, as you can see, 1750 plus 32 times the DMX value, which if you had it at zero would be 1750. So we can go ahead and fill that in here, 1750 as the user min. And then the user max here, enter user max value, is going to be 32 times 255 is the highest value here. So if we take out our calculator and we did uh, 255 times 32, and then we did plus 1750, you get 9910. So we're going to go ahead and type 9910 in this spot. And I like to default all of my lights to 3200 so that I'm not coming on uh, with the light when I'm turning it on at a random uh, low end color temperature. So I default on mine to 3200 and as you see the DMX value over here auto converts. And this goes both ways so if you know one and not the other you can type it in the other way. And that's it. So next now we're on to channel 3. Channel 3 is tint. Green magenta tint. So I'm going to go ahead and select parameter, select tint and this tint is usually negative 100 to 100, but as you see in this case, um, they made a dead zone in this initial 0 to 4 range right here. So we will fix this, but really what we're going to do is just take the linear portion of this so that we're not dealing with uh, you know, an extra button. What we want is our tint to be just linear the whole way through so that we can always just type you know, tint at... 30 enter and it just goes without having to worry about a button. So I'm going to actually put this minimum value at 96 because you can see the low end in this linear range right here is 96%. And the high end is at 100. And that's fine. And when I put, you know, the user value at 0, it's still 128 because this 4 is compensated with this 4 here. So again, we want this to also be a slider. Um, and I'll show you the reason for buttons and both later, but let's go ahead and press next. 
and now we're on channel four and this is pretty simple straightforward so we're just going to do crossfade bam next is going to be red search red next is going to be green next is going to be blue and notice these are automatically filled out you know user menu is zero user max is 100 and you always want them to turn on at full because if you turn on at zero then not only when you bring the dimmer up you also have to bring red green blue up so we always start these at full and again as you can see this is an 8-bit profile so we haven't had to use this switch over here yet so once i click finish my table is populated which i can double verify over here in the parameters and that's it, except we have one thing to do, right? We have to modify the tint. So to modify tint, you just simply click anywhere in this box. So we're gonna click tint, and now it brings up channel three functions. So I'm gonna go ahead and on the top right, click create new. And now here I can create functions or essentially buttons within uh, a parameter. However, we are just going to remap this parameter. So really what we want is the from value, which is going to be negative 96. And the to value is going to be 100. And we're going to remap this so that negative 96 starts at um, 5. So we're going to go over here and click the 5 is the DMX range value and 100. You see what I'm doing? I'm mapping this and this to this and this, right? So now I'm putting 255 here, and now I'm going to click Save. And now this channel has been remapped correctly to this range. So when I go ahead and now, um, it's in Jeff's tests, go ahead and patch this in, which is this weird fixture right here, one at one, I can go ahead and test this fixture and fixture controls just to make sure everything work the way I expected it to. So it comes up right here. I can select this. I can go to fixture controls and you see I have dim. I have CCT. My red, green, and blue uh, made the color wheel. And then I have tint right here. I can scroll all the way down to negative 96, which you see right here shows five in terms of the DMX output. And if I scroll all the way through 255, gets up to 100%. So there you go. That is how you create your first uh, basic custom fixture.